How's it going guys? My name is Miles and this is the Make With Miles channel. Today we're going to make an oat coffee table with a steel base. Let's go. First, I started by uncovering my white oak slab, which had been drying for about a year. I brought it over to my workbench where I'd installed the surfacing jig for my router. I then flattened the slab with the largest router bit I had. This whole process took a few hours, and when I was done, the slab still had small grooves left in it by the router bit. So I used some 60 grit sandpaper on my orbital sander to sand it down. If you haven't noticed by now, I look a lot younger and I have a different haircut. I actually started this project a year ago. However, I wasn't able to finish it because of school. So after I had some fun with the sawdust, I removed all the bark with a chisel. I then cut out some purple heart for the bow ties to stabilize the cracks. I cut the bow ties out on the bandsaw, and then I traced the shape of them onto the oak slab. I used a forstner bit to clear out most of the material, and then I came back with a chisel to clean things up. I glued the bow ties in and cut off the excess with a Japanese saw. Next, I sanded the tabletop flush with a belt sander. I then came back around with the orbital sander for its final sand. It was now time to make the steel base. I used some flat steel to create a triangle which I would weld the hairpin legs onto. I drew the lines for where I needed to cut the steel, and then I used an angle grinder with a cutoff disc to do the job. I then switched to a flap disc to clean up the areas where I would need to weld. This was my first time welding, so my welds are not top quality. But I was able to get the job done while learning how to do it. As you can see, I'm welding right near plywood, which is not the safest because it can catch on fire but I don't have a welding table, so I had to make do. Once I had welded the triangle, I ground down my welds on both sides and placed the hairpin legs on each corner. I was able to buy these hairpin legs on Amazon for about $20. After I was done welding, I used a flap disc to clean things up, and then I painted it at my grandparents' house because it was raining. It was now time to finish the tabletop. I went with a polycrylic because it's durable, and it's also way cheaper than epoxy. 
I applied three coats and sanded in between with 220 grit. I then had to drill the holes in the base so I could attach the top. Once that was complete, I attached the tabletop with some wood screws and the build was finally complete. I learned a lot through this project, and since I did it over the span of a year, I was able to look back at what I did that I might do differently the next time. It was really fun learning how to weld, so you'll probably be seeing more welding projects soon. If you enjoyed this video, go check out some of my others. And if you want to see more of what I'm up to, hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.